So far in our React Native series, we've been seeing a lot of different options that developers could use to start accepting payments inside of their React Native projects. Well, in this video, I want to do something a little bit different. And I brought my friend Chen here to show us how we could use Stripe Identity inside of your React Native apps. So Chen, why don't you introduce yourself to everyone really quick and let them know who you are and what do you do? Hi, my name is Chen. I'm the mobile engineer at Stripe Identities team. Um, Stripe Identity is a product, it's a separate Stripe product that provides the merchant to verify the identity of their users. Uh, so for example, if you want to build a delivery app and you want to verify the identity of the people who delivers the goods, you can use Stripe Identity to onboard them. So like you said, this is a lot more like identity verification and it's not like user management, right? So it's not like I have a username or a password or logins or anything of the sort. This is more of, hey, I need to verify that this person is actually who they say they are, right? And you use that by, I'm guessing, requesting some type of identity document. Is that correct? Yes, we collect the user's uh, driver license, passport, or ID card, and we compare them with their selfie, and we do some uh, check on our backend to verify if this user is really uh, whoever they the claim to be. Yeah. Nice. All right, well, I'm guessing you have a demo, right? Like, can we switch over yeah. to your screen really quick and, and see what you got? Yeah, sure. So here I have loaded a, a React Native app using our React Native SDK. So Stripe Identity React Native SDK wraps native Android and iOS uh, SDKs because we use the native camera and the machine learning APIs on different platforms. So here I loaded this uh, in my Android phone. And uh, after I click the Verify Identity button, it will start the native Android flow. The first screen um, is Stripe's uh, privacy policy agreement. Basically, the user needs to agree to grant Stripe the permission to use users' biometric identification information. So I click accept and continue. Here we can three, uh, select three types of document. In here, I'll just select ID card. Now it's scanning the front of my ID card. And let's scan. We're going to scan the back of my ID card. So I love how this thing is using like that native um, camera feature of the of the actual device. But mm -hmm. I'm kind of curious about why is it that you have to scan both sides of the ID for the verification? Yeah, because the back of the ID has some barcode information that corresponds to the front of the ID. We need to collect both in, uh, both image to do a, a cross check, cross reference check to verify this ID is indeed a real ID. OK, gotcha. And after the ID, uh, we will also collect the selfie of the user. In here, I just point my face here. <laughs> nice selfie. I like it. So here we collect three images. And uh, uh, as you can see, the first one is probably a little bit, little bit blurry, but we use some machine learning model to find the most accurate image and send uh, to the users for uh, send to the server for processing. Now the verification is submitted and is pending. Once we click complete we return to the React Native app. And the status, as you can see here, is flow completed. That's the end of the flow. I do want to mention that this doesn't mean the verification passed. You still need to rely on some webhook to get the verification result. So, so we've seen how the demo works. Like, could you show us a little bit of the code? And like, like, what do I need to install? And how do I get set up? And like, what are the, the functions and components I need to use inside of my app to make this work? Yeah, sure. Uh, Charlie, do you want to introduce this to us? Yeah, so it looks really similar to what we've already seen a lot of with the Stripe React Native Payments SDK. Um, this is just in a separate NPM package, which is good. That way, we're not bloating everyone's apps with you know identity functionality when, if they don't need it, and then payments functionality if they don't need it. Um, but yeah, so we're pulling in the use Stripe identity hook, um, passing in our fetch options. Maybe, Chen, do you want to navigate over to where we're grabbing these fetch options from? Yeah. Perfect. So kind of similar with payment sheet, how we had to make a request to uh, our server, which was doing kind of the, the hard work of creating an ephemeral key for us. We're doing something similar here with the identity SDK, passing in a session ID, uh, an ephemeral key secret. And then the last thing is a brand logo. Now this is actually gonna be local on the app, on the device um, and not pulled from the server. Um, and this is kind of that Rocket Rides logo that we saw earlier in the flow. Um, but that's kind of stored uh, right there. So doing a quick fetch request, grabbing all that, passing it to our hook. Um, and then we're getting, you know, three useful pieces of uh, functionality out of the hook. And that would be the 
the status variable, our present function, and then the loading Boolean. Loading, same thing we've seen a couple of times, uh, a Boolean to show you know, a spinner or something like that. Present is kind of the meat of the functionality behind Stripe Identity. So when we call the present function on like you know the user clicking a button or, or tapping something, uh, that's going to launch that native uh, sheet on iOS and Android. They'll step through that flow. Um, and you know the status variable is going to be updated, you know whether they've started it or completed it, um, and we can kind of you know take action based on the the status. Um, but yeah, it's obviously an asynchronous flow, like Chen mentioned. So although the status might be flow completed, it doesn't necessarily mean the user's identity is who they said they are. Is that right? Yeah, that's true. But yeah, so I'm guessing too, after I'm guessing after that verification goes, now on the back end, I'll have some type of server side process that's listening for the webhook. And then then we can make some business decisions based on whatever the status of that hook is. Is that correct? Yeah, that's true. All right. Well, Chen, I mean, this looks pretty sim, um, pretty easy to use. And and also yeah. if you've been using like our React Native SDK so far, it looks pretty familiar. So for me, it doesn't seem like there's a lot of extra work that actually has to happen was to start integrating identity inside of our inside of our React Native applications. Well, thank you so much for coming on and showing us this. Like, this is amazing. Uh, so definitely appreciate you coming on. And, and Charlie, as always, thank you for, for coming on here. Um, if For all of you that are watching, if you're still interested in, in learning more about React Native SDK for Stripe and also our React Native um, Stripe Identity SDK, make sure you check out some of the links inside of the description where we'll have resources to code samples, docs, and tons of other things that you can learn more from.